Hello, I am Stephanie, an artist based in Van, France. In today's video, I would like to celebrate, if, if you can use that word really, environmental day through an artwork I made that is featuring an overflowing trash can and colorful rainbow nature growing on top of it. In a nutshell, it's about waste and trash, and I called it Nature Doesn't Produce Trash. But first, I would like to say a few words concerning recent events in the US. Because next to the usual biodiversity collapse Earth is experiencing, and the pandemic, of course, racism has crept back quite viciously. Or rather, there was a tipping point where the people decided not to stay silent anymore in face of racial discrimination and absurd death. As a society, we need to care about and respect everyone, no matter their origins. If we are not even able to care about our own species, how are we ever going to care about all the rest of the nature? If you'd like to read more about this specific topic, Black Lives Matter have a good website that explains the issue more in depth. But back to today's topic, which is Environmental Day. Climate change is truly an urgent issue. This year's theme is biodiversity. If you'd like to read more about it, the United Nations have written a lot on their website, so you can check it out. I also made a list of things you can do as an individual to reduce your own footprint. However, this list is not exhaustive and more of a suggestion. Everyone has different lives and while for some certain points will be really easy to implement, for others the same points might be near impossible. First and foremost, I think it's really important to inform yourself to better understand what you can do and change and then also cut yourself some slack. Honestly, just don't drive yourself mad trying to be as perfect as possible. I've been there and it's not good, it's not healthy. You really are in it for the long run, you're trying to change your lifestyle, to make it more sustainable, but it still needs to be sustainable to yourself. You're not going to be perfect, you're still going to create some waste, some trash, you're still going to have some footprint and you're still going to provoke some kind of death, be it plants or animals. You have to understand that no matter the choices you're going to do, you will have a negative impact on the earth. The key is more to reduce that impact. Don't oversweat it, but try your best. I think the key for society as a whole is to change. And so the little things we do as individuals add up in the end. So anyway, back to that list. So of course it's not exhaustive, so if you want to add more to that list, please add your comments below. So as I said, the first, which I think is really important, is to inform yourself about the best environmental practices. There's a lot written about that online, so it's pretty easy to find. The second is to buy more consciously. We live in a society that is very consumer-based and most of us are seen as mere consumers. We live to buy, to be honest, these days, which is bad enough but that's just how it is, that's just how it evolved. And I don't think society is going to change that fast, that we're not going to be consumers anymore. So when you need to buy something, you really need to check, you need to repair before buying. Really buy only what is necessary or what brings something real plus to your life or to someone else's life. Then of course you can buy second hand. I really would encourage you to check if whatever you want is ethically produced, environmentally produced. So yeah, you have to really dig in into how, how things are made, where they are made, with what they are made. The third point is to eat less or no meat. Honestly, this has been talked about a lot. Meat production is one of the most detrimental to the environment. So cutting down your meat intake is really efficient. You don't have to stop eating meat completely, but just eating less will already make a huge difference. Of course, use your own bags when shopping. This is pretty normal, I think, for a lot of countries, but not everywhere. 
buy local as much as you can. This is really going to depend where you live. For some it's really easy. Where I live it's pretty easy to buy a lot local. We mostly eat local to be honest. But if you are in the middle of a food desert then it's going to be more complex for you. So again going to depend on your lifestyle on your life more than your lifestyle. I will also encourage you to cook more from scratch and avoid industrial foods simply because most industrial foods are heavily packaged and they have very little health benefits. Maybe ditch those sodas or at least reduce the intake. I don't know. You do you, but I really think there's quite a big problem around that. Another point which has been talked about a lot is to travel less. Now obviously with the pandemic that's really not a topic, everyone is more or less staying at home. But yeah, traveling is also has a huge footprint and I'm not sure it's that useful to travel that much, that fast, that often. So yeah, traveling is important, it's, it's really great for yourself. But maybe travel a little less and yeah, especially avoid planes. The next idea would be to replace harsh cleaning chemicals with more simple things. So Castile soap, baking soda and vinegar to clean your home. That's rather easy to do, it's cheaper as well. <laughs> so your wallet is going to be happy about it. And yeah, yeah, the water is going to be cleaner as well. And the last, and I, I think the last is actually quite important, is if you can, of course, to donate to conservation organizations. So you can now find a lot of websites that rate charities, so you should give your money to the right ones. So you can use Charity Watch or Charity Navigator, for instance, but I, I think there are other ones. I'm not going to give you names for charities because there are a lot of them and it's going to depend where you want to give your money to. In terms of conservation, you can go more for rainforest or coral reefs or general organization. So there are a lot of charities out there, but it's worth it to dig a little bit deeper and check out the ones that have good rating. And then if you can give them a bit, um, that always helps. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it about that list. To finish this video, I would like to stress out again that you cannot do everything. And depending on your life situation, some of these are just impossible for you to do and that is perfectly okay. Be kind to yourself, be kind to the planet and those around you. Talk about the issues that are important to you. Every little bit helps to create a bigger, more sustainable change. Thank you so much for listening to me watching me draw with ink and paint with watercolor. You can also find the same list on my blog if you'd like to have a written version. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye.